deep learning, has delivered a variety of practical uses in the past decade. From revolutionizing customer experience, machine translation, language recognition, autonomous vehicles, computer vision, text generation, speech understanding, and a multitude of other AI applications. The neural network learns by generating an error signal, which measures the difference between the predictions of the network and the desired values and then using this error signal to change the weights, or parameters, so that predictions get more accurate. Therein lies, the limitation of deep learning. While we gain insights about hidden correlations, extract features, and distinguish categories, we lack transparency of reasoning behind these conclusions. Most importantly there is the absence of common sense. Deep learning models might be the best at perceiving patterns. Yet they cannot comprehend what the patterns mean, and lack the ability to model their behaviors, reason about them, and act immediately. True intelligence involves generalizations from observations, creating models, deriving new insights from the models through reasoning. In addition, human intelligence also creates history and uses past experience in making the decision. In order to go beyond deep learning, we take the cue from the neocortex in the human brain. The neocortex plays a crucial role in the control of higher perceptual processes, cognitive functions, and intelligent behavior. It acts as higher-level information processing mechanism that uses recomposable neural subnetworks to create a hierarchical information processing system with predictive and proactive analytics. In other words, it allows us to learn, adapt, and create new modes of behavior. There are hierarchical computing structures that go beyond neural networks to provide models of the observations, abstractions, and generalizations from experience and time and history, to provide reasoning and predictive behaviors. The models comprising of deep knowledge are designed to capture not only classification of objects, their attributes, and relationships but also behaviors associated with them. These behaviors captured as generalizations from history and observations. At any point of time, any new event triggers an evolution of the current state to a future state based on not only the current state but also from its past history. The non-Markovian behavior, where the conditional probability of a future state depends on not only the present state but also on its prior state history, gives rise to a new level of intelligence that goes beyond mere computing, communication and cognition alone support. In order to model this level of intelligence, we implement a super-recursive neural network, an ontology-based model of the domain of interest created from various pieces of knowledge, observations, experience, science, common sense etc., and memory that captures time and history of various instances populating the model. Figure here shows the path to strong AI whose goal is to develop artificial intelligence to the point where the machine's intellectual capability is functionally equal to a human's. Digital DNA encodes the processes that specify how to construct distributed computing structures that execute a set of functional requirements and control processes that build them, monitor them, and manage their evolution without disruption, even in the face of rapid fluctuations in the demand or availability of computing resources. Just as in living organisms, we use embedded, enacted, embodied, and extended computing processes to execute sentient computing structures. Sentient computing mimics this neural network and cellular DNA complex, along with 4E cognition in the components, and their highly efficient organization. Fortunately, the new math of structural machines, cognizing oracle agents and knowledge structures enables us to address many of the very valid concerns raised in the book Life After Google by George Gilder. Structural machine implementation of the process evolution, to manage both functional and non-functional requirements, implemented as managed knowledge structures using microservices, orchestrated by cognizing oracle agents comes as close as you can to mimic sentience, resilience, and intelligence of living cellular organisms. The difference in the digital universe is that the machines are taught the knowledge in the form of knowledge structures and their evolution. The intelligence depends on what is taught. In the physical universe, 
it seems that evolution has enabled the accumulation of knowledge structures and control processes, that learn also how to learn.